Okay, and the last one here is AES encryption in Go. And of course, this is what I always tell my cryptography students, don't write your own crypto routines. All you do is use a standard library and learn how to use it correctly. Writing your own crypto is a mistake you make until you learn to stop being that way. Uh, nobody is smart enough to write good crypto. You only just use a standard library. So let's clear this and take a look at how to use AES in Go. So you import crypto slash AES. And now you have plain text. And uh, in a simple case, you want it to be 16 characters long. I think that's why I wrote it this way. And here's your key I just used, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, to get a 16 byte key. So then you define a new cipher, AES new cipher, and you encrypt it. Um, ciphertext, plain text. You specify the key here, and that's it. And I think it's using um, electronic code book mode because it's not worrying about initialization value. So it's now I made room for the decrypted data here, 16 bytes long. And now I can do decrypt and it'll put it in there. And I should see the decrypted printing as a string. Of course, if the key was wrong, it would be unreadable random ASCII bytes, but if the key is correct, it'll decrypt back to the original hi there world. And here, when I printed the ciphertext, I printed it in hexadecimal because the ciphertext is going to be random uh, hexadecimal bytes, of course. So that is AES. All right, and there you see, I could it hi there world. That's the ciphertext, which is random appearing stuff. And there's the decrypted stuff. So that shows you how to encrypt and decrypt with Go. And then there are just some challenges. Some where you, you are encrypting and decrypting with the key. And here's where you're decrypting with that key. And here you're decrypting an image with the key. So these are just, uh, you have to do the file input and file output that you've done in previous challenges to do that one. And uh, that's the last Go project.